show you my new skateboard. So this is the first skateboard I've had in, well, 30 years since it was in my teens. And uh, it's an Arbor Pilsner with a solstice design. And when I was choosing a skateboard, you know, things have changed a lot since I had my little penny board when I was in my teens. Um, and I knew I was going to be using it for cruising the roads really, you know, more so than the skate park. Um, that narrowed it down for me and I could do some research then and work out what, which of the boards on the market I, I liked the best. And it came down to two boards for me. There was the Land Yacht Stingy and then the Arbor Pilsner. And this one, there were, there were a lot fewer reviews, a lot less chatter um, on social media and everything about this particular board. So it took a bit more digging around to find out something more about it. You know, I'm not going to try to do a, like a technical review of the board. I'll just describe it a little bit more for you and show you in a bit more detail. It's made from palisander wood. And this particular one is uh, bare wood top and bottom. And on the top it's got like a spray on grip. Just so you can see some of the angling on the deck. Um, you can see, if I tip it over, you can see the tail rises up to that extent and you can possibly see there the amount of kind of scoop that there is on the deck as well so you can definitely feel it rising up towards the edges and um, just makes your feet feel really nice and and secure and on the nose a little upturned nose as well which is it's really great for if you did want to do some tricks and things on the board as well makes it that bit more versatile because I know that some of the long boards um, don't have that, like they have very little in the way of um, a sort of upturn in the nose or the tail. Um, and I definitely that was important to me. I wanted, I wanted to have that. It helps you find your feet on the board, um, know where you are on the board. Um, and it also gives you that wee bit more uh, manoeuvrability, I suppose. It was really interesting um, the first time I got on it. I had read in... in one or two reviews that when people first got on it they just found it really um, stiff you know but I mean going from 30 years ago a tiny wee penny board uh, I can tell you this feels so much more responsive you know that there's so much movement in the trucks so the complete in the way that it ships from Arbor comes with Paris trucks and their own Arbor Easy Rider Bogart wheels and the um, spec of those wheels is 61 millimeters and 78A. Some other nice little details with it. At the top here you can see that this is like a goldy color and that's the same for the nut here on the trucks and gold colored screws at the top. Here on the inside of the wheel the nut is um, a golden color as well. I just love the company. Um, just love their ethos. Um, the, they started off in 1995 with um, environmentalism at their heart and just wanting to look after the planet while they were um, making snowboards, skateboards and um, surfboards. And I just loved that. I loved their spirit and I absolutely love the boards. You know, look at this. It's just, it's a thing of beauty. So they have this project called Returning Roots. It's not just planting trees, rebuilding forests. Since day one, a portion of every sale has gone to restoring Hawaii's native koa forests and they use the offcuts from their, their processing, they reuse those in, in different ways um, and I really like that as well, that they're trying to think about their whole cycle of, of their manufacturing, I just think that's fantastic. Um, whenever I started looking into skateboarding again, I didn't really know the difference, you know, I didn't really know what the you know, we did one sort of board for skating around the streets and a different one for skating in the skate park. So I had a lot to learn. Um, but there's some really good skateboard forums out there and some really good YouTube channels. So um, I'm really grateful to everyone that took the time to put information on there and to answer my questions as well. Um, because I think it's really helped me find the, the exact board that I really like. So one other important thing I just want to mention is where I got the board. Um, I really wanted to support a local skate shop um, because I really think we should value our local shops and a lot of the people that run them 
are also involved in keeping the local skate scene alive. You know, I know that some of them are involved in skate parks and, and other activities to do with skating, like skate teams and all sorts. And so I just want to say thank you to Big Woodies in Blackpool, in Lancashire, for sourcing the board for me and for brilliant service all the way along. So in the description I'll put some links to the review that I read about this board. That review was quite detailed and, and quite good so that will that will help if you're thinking about a cruiser and you're not sure which one to go for. Um, I haven't had much chance to get out really and ride this board. Um, if you've seen my other video from my first day out you'll know that I sort of overstrained my tendon on day one. Um, so I'm still kind of hobbling around a bit and um, I can't really get back on the board yet, but uh, so I can't tell you for sure, you know, what, what I think of this board, but my first impressions were amazing, just loved it. So that's it, I hope you find this useful. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see some of the videos that I'll put out in the future, and meanwhile, skid safe.